Hey guys, wanted to do a wrap up for um, the month of February and a TBR for the month of March where I got to talk about what I plan to read. Uh, it's really ambitious this month. We'll see if I actually get to it. Probably a bunch of it will get pushed over into April, but you know what? That'll be fine. I don't mind so much. So getting into it, first book I read was Dune. It was the bookie club pick. I read it with Nikki from I Read Past My Bedtime. We buddy read it and then talked about it on bookie club. If you want to check out bookie club, it's down in the description. And, um, it's amazing. Um, you're going to see tons of videos on this, and I won't get you with it right now, but there'll be a whole Dune playlist coming up. Trust me. The second book I read was Queen of Blood, which was really cool. It's about a young lady who is trying to become an heir to be a queen, and the queens control the spirits who, if they are not controlled, will kill everybody. So, made a video about it. You want to check that out. It's in the description. Next, we have The Gladiator, which is a really good alternative history where um, the communists have won the Cold War, and this is probably 100 years from now. And in Italy, the young people are playing board games that teach capitalism, and the secret police get onto them, try to find them, figure out that there's a conspiracy, and it's really, really cool. Next, I read The Tenth Planet. It was 128 pages, very short, little pulp from 1944. Um, Captain Future goes, go gets amnesia, and it's his story about trying to defeat the criminals who took his spaceship, um, are trying to impersonate him while he has amnesia, he kind of grows a beard, they call him Blackbeard the Pirate, and, um, he, you know, meets all his friends and saves the day anyway, and, um, it was pulp, it's good though. So on my TBR, I didn't get to them, Making Sense of God to Retire Inspired, Hamilton kind of killed that for me. It came through. I've been waiting on it for about three months. Made a video on my nonfiction reads on that one, on why I um, had to get to that one. I'd been waiting for it forever, and when it came through on audiobook, I just kind of dropped everything else, and so I didn't get to these, and I may not put them on my TBR for next month because I have too much planned. The Poppy War is one that's been sitting at 52% on my Kindle for quite a long time. Did not even pick it up this month, unfortunately. Might add it to next month's TBR, but I did not get a chance to do it. Through the Narnia read-along, though, I did read Prince Caspian and Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and I loved both of them. Uh, Voyage of the Dawn Treader is my current favorite in the series, and I'm hoping to read a couple more Narnia books as we get ready for the end of the series. So like I said, I also read Hamilton. It was not on my TBR at all, and it kind of just threw a big um, wrench in that. And then I also read Trigun Maximum, which is a... Uh, um, manga this is the omnibus edition so it's a little bit bigger but it was very very good if you get a chance to read this please read it it is so much fun another audiobook i listened to this month that was not on my tbr was great peril which is book three of the dresden Files series it was very good i might do a video on it and then uh treasure island audible has sent me um like a notification for a completely voice casted treasure island and went ahead and listened to that. It was about six hours. The voice cast was pretty good, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. So that was everything I read last month. Unfortunately, I failed on two books, but hopefully um, next month, my TBR, I'm going to fail on a whole lot more. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a show you guys a quick giveaway that I'd like to do for the channel and talk about Bookie Club. Hey, guys. Wanted to do a quick giveaway. Um, I'm not going to play this game. So it's Pathfinder Kingmaker, but Humble Bundle gave it to me through my bundle. And I wanted to give anybody who wanted to play it, here's a quick uh, video about it. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And um, I'm excited about that. If you like um, tabletop RPGs, this one, I, I read a bunch of reviews on it, and it seemed really good. I just don't see myself having the time to play it, so I wanted to give it away to um, any subscriber that wanted it. I just go to my Discord channel. The link is in the description, and you'll be able to um, get it. And if you want, 
this whole month, the only one I got was Frostpunk. So if you want, you look through Humble Bundle and see one that you want, let me know and I'll give it to you because, I mean, I all of these are just going unused. So you can you can get them if you want them. So And then uh, Bookie Club again, if you want to check it out, we just finished Dune. We're going to the Blade itself and I'm excited if you guys want to join. Um, got a bunch of people in here as well and really excited to keep going on bookie club so if you guys want to join us there uh, also link in the description so for the month of march what i want to do on my tbr is i want to do a couple read-alongs i haven't participated in any read-alongs before and some of the ones that we're doing are exciting to me and i'd like to do that so first one we're doing is the mars series and so princess of mars is the first one and i put this one up at half price books so this is the first five novels Princess of Mars is in here, and also the Gods of Mars, the Warlord of Mars, Thuvia, Maid of Mars, and the Chessmen of Mars. So that'll be one that I get to this month. So the next one I want to do is The Warrior of Altai. I don't know much about it, but me and Kayla from Crack Into a Good Book talked about doing a buddy read. And um, I'm, as a big Robert Jordan fan and a big Wheel of Time fan, I'm excited to see. Um, this book was published after he died, so I'm not sure... Um, you know how much if he already had it published or what he had going on with it so i will let you know what's going on there so next is the blade itself by joe abercrombie it is the pick for the bookie club if you'd like to join that again link in the description but it is a grimdark story um, i think i heard that one of the main characters is a torturer and he um so very very grimdark and really excited to get into this everybody tells me i should so here we go this is the month for it next book i want to do is the pillars of the earth I started on it back in February and hopefully I can review this on the channel and do a really good review for you guys. I'm excited about it because I enjoyed this the first time and I'm enjoying it. I'm about halfway through right now. The next book I want to talk about is Leaping Wolf, which is the second book in the Calderon Saga by J.P. Harker. The first book is really, really good. I did a video, I'll show it to you there. Um, J.P. Harker has kind of become a friend and I'm really excited to travel more on his journey. Um, he's from the UK and he's a really good author. He did, this is kind of a alternate history magical book. So really, really good. I love the first one and I'm excited to get in the second one. So the next book I'm reading is Sin Lama Sands. I did a really cool thing with my local library where they actually borrowed it from a different library because they didn't have it. And that was really neat. I'm excited that libraries can do that. Um, Sin Lama Sands is about a young man who gets married. They go to the Tower of Babel and his wife gets sucked up into the tower and he has to go rescue her. So I really, really, really want to read this one. I already know that I'm going to love it and excited to get into it. So as I talked about, I've already read Stormfront, so I borrowed the audiobook from the library. Nikki from I Read Past My Bedtime's doing the Dresden Files uh, read-along, so if you want to join that. So I'll probably just brush up on it a little bit through the month, but I will kind of sort of read it, so I'll put it on here. But I've already read it, and it's really just going to be a refresher. And so I'm also doing a refresher on the Wheel of Time. So I'm, this is the first time I'm listening to the whole series. I'm buying them as I get my credit through Audible. I've read the series at least two times, maybe three. Or I've at least read the first half three times. And I really want to do good reviews on the channel because it is my favorite book series. And so to do that, I need to re-listen to all the books so that I can go back and forth. So I've started. I'm probably 15 chapters in. <laughs> To the fires of heaven and hopefully i can make a little progress probably not going to finish it this month but threw it on here just in case same thing with the way of kings i came up on the um audiobook from libby and i've been sitting on it for a little while may get to it may not get to it way of kings is my favorite book want to give it a very fresh listen through before i go ahead and do a review on the channel michael nip just did one on his channel if you want to go check that out but it's such a great book. If you haven't read it, please understand you're going to love it and it's going to take over your life. So also trying to finish the Narnia read along, which uh, Silver Chair is on my list. I'm doing the publication order. So Magician's Nephew, I'm going to read and then The Last Battle. I had a friend tell me that if you do it in the publication order, um, Magician's Me Nephew makes a whole lot more sense. So it is actually the first book in the series, but hopefully I can uh, knock into that as well. And the last book, um, may not get to it, but I really just want to get it off of my, um, I just want to finish it, is The Golden Compass. Kind of really in the mud on that one, just stuck, but I'd like to finish it. I'm not not enjoying the book, I'm just not picking it up because I'm not enjoying it enough to pick it up. 
Silver Chair, Magician's Nephew, and Poppy War, and Golden Compass all on the Kindle. We'll add that to the TBR as well. I'm not going to be able to finish this. This is ridiculous. So, um, pray for me, I guess. But here it is.